Honeys and dolls, we are back with another session of Ask Jaja. If you're following me from my Instagram and Facebook, thank you guys for crossing over to my YouTube channel. If you're new to me and you have not connected with me on Instagram yet, you can follow me at underscore Ask Jaja. And if you are new to this channel, then welcome, 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 welcome. We love new friends. Speaking of new friends, I have a couple of new friends on my face. So, on the count of three, we're gonna welcome them so they feel a little bit welcome since they're gonna be staying for a while. One, two, three. Hey, Spots, we are not happy to see you, but hey, you're here now, so we're gonna embrace you. All right, so today we are doing the get to know me tag. So I asked you guys a couple of weeks ago if you could send me some questions in that you want to know about me. And as usual, y'all came through the questions. So I had a lot of questions and I handpicked some because I couldn't use all. Um, so if you don't know, if you don't recognize your question, please don't feel some kind of way. It's just I either didn't get through all of them or I just selected the ones that um, I thought were appropriate. <laughs> don't know what else to say. OK, so let's get straight into it. Um, okay, so let's get into it then. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Nothing, no. Okay. So what's your date of birth? My date of birth is the 27th of August, 1991. What is your favorite animal? Okay, for all those that don't know me, I hate animals. Like, I don't like animals at all. However, there is a special section in my heart for elephants. I love me some elephants, those creatures, yo, oh my gosh. I love me some elephants. Like my dream holiday would be to like sit in my hotel balcony area and just overlook the wildlife where there are just elephants like in their natural habitat. I just love elephants. They're so beautiful. Oh, I just don't know why. I just love, they're so peaceful. Like, oh, they just, yeah, I love me some elephants. I can go on all day about elephants. They, they're just lovely. Do you prefer tea or coffee? Coffee, black, no sugar, no honey, black coffee. What is your most embarrassing moment? Okay, so my most embarrassing moment was about six years ago and I was at work and I came to work, I got to work early. And so I went to the canteen to have breakfast like most people do when I get to work early. And guys, um, I kind of ate and there was like a whole bunch of uh, directors in the building at this time I'd, I'd worked I was working for um, a bank the call center of a bank and I don't know what was I can't remember what was happening but there was a bunch of big important people so it was summertime and I had some nice um, pink pinky fuchsia actually fuchsia color trousers on a blue and a, a black blouse and I got up to, um, you know, get rid of my um, dirty dishes and everything. And I felt a breeze. Uh, yeah, I felt a little bit of a breeze. So uh, I kind of like subtly just moved my hand to like the back of my trousers. And there was a huge, massive tear in between. Yeah. So I was extremely embarrassed I looked around and yes lo and behold all those big important men had spotted it not my finest moment at all um yeah so I had to traipse across town with these it was hot so I didn't have a jacket or anything and there was really nobody around apart from these big important people and I couldn't actually just ask them so I like ran out of the canteen um, I, yeah, traipsed across town and had to go to like 15 minutes across town and I had to go and get another pair of trousers before my shift started. That was mighty embarrassing. But we thank God that we've overcome it and no one actually that 
new me new me personally saw so i don't get laughed at because of it so it's fine we we move on we move on okay um how do you deal with failures so i don't dwell on failures i look for the lesson in them i try to look for the lesson in everything both good and bad how do i not make this happen again how can i better myself how can i be a better person for um for me basically and the people that will be around me in the future so um that's how i deal with failures i look for the lesson i don't dwell and i try not to beat myself up about it um okay do you have any dating tips i was awful when i was dating i was so goofy i was awkward like i i was a mess i was a mess i was a mess i was a mess um so all i can say is just be yourself like the person will love you for you no matter what if you are for that person if you're made for that person they will love your goofiness your awkwardness um they'll love the real you so just be yourself you can't be anybody else but yourself okay uh how old were you when you discovered your purpose i was 25 when i discovered my purpose how do you cope with long distance relationships the best way to cope with long distance relationships in my opinion is trust and communication okay what is the one thing that you can't live without i can't live without my god my god my god i can't live without my god that's simple can't live without my prayers i can't live without my scriptures i cannot live without god um okay what tips do you have for a long distance relationship chill out number one and be very slow to anger you don't want to get yourself high blood for no reason so yes chill out and be slow to anger two trust three communication um four have fun have fun it is it's really important to just have fun like you're dating have fun um and just be honest be your honest self like there's not nothing beats honesty just be honest in all times and be true to yourself uh when did you find god so i basically was brought up in the church my uncle was a pastor and my grandmother was the ch the mother of the church so i've always um i've always you know been in touch with my christianity but i would say i actually had my first encounter um when i was um to, in 2016 yeah in 2016 i'll say um yeah okay what is your favorite color well if you haven't guessed by today yeah then uh no it's like i'm joking my favorite color is purple i love me some purple it's just so royal i love purple um okay do you prefer makeup or hair hair hands down i know how to do my face i don't know how to do any other person's face when it comes to makeup um i just learned how to do mine so and i don't have patience to other people's but hair i can do all day every day i love to do hair um okay what types of movies do you like i like chick flicks and romance movies i could cry over the silliest romantic movie but it would mean so much to me so yeah um do you speak any other languages no nope, but i'd love to learn french but i don't speak any other languages who was your first best friend my first best friend when was when i was four and her name was rashina uh who's your best friend now my female best friend now is harmony Mwah. um okay what is your favorite scent oh y'all gonna say i'm weird so you know when you go to the petrol station and you pull up and there's this woof of petrol or gas or whatever you want to call it i love that smell i love the smell of petrol if i'm the passenger in a car and somebody pulls up into the petrol station the first thing i'm doing rain thunderstorm snow blizzard i don't know anything is i'm winding down the window and i'm sticking my head out to inhale the smell of the petrol Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I literally love the smell of petrol. Um, but 
Another smell that I like, which is more normal, I guess, is the smell of vanilla. I love scented candles with the vanilla scent. I love my home fresh plugins have to be vanilla. I love vanilla. The scent of vanilla is great. Uh, okay, what did you study in university? I studied European and international law. How many siblings do you have? I have three. I am the eldest of three siblings. Uh, well, no, sorry. I'm the eldest of four children in my family. <laughs> so I have three siblings. Um, I have another sister. No, I have a sister. So, guys, I'm sorry. I have a sister and I have two brothers and they are the cutest. They're literally the cutest. Um, okay, what is an absolute relationship deal breaker for you? Abuse in any form. I don't tolerate abuse. So if I see it, you got to go, honey. You got to, you got to go. Um, how did you meet your husband? Wow, okay. So uh, a whole how we met is video is going to come up soon. But how we met, uh, we'll just say for now through a friend because technically we did meet through a friend but I mean our story is literally a whole video so yeah you'll you'll probably like it when we do it eventually um but yeah I met through a friend so we met through a friend <laughs> sorry oh my gosh what's wrong with me today okay so that is it we have come to the end of the questions I think it was like 20 three questions 23 24 questions that I just went through um but yeah thank you for your questions like I said you guys always come through um thank you for being my audience also um so yes if you are not already subscribed to my channel please subscribe and press the bell as well to notify you of any videos that I pop up share guys like and subscribe so I hope to see you soon real real soon stay blessed stay happy stay healthy and always remember that your mental health comes first and if it doesn't serve your mental health for the good purpose get rid of it throw in the bin honey throw in the bin throw in the bin we love you keep messaging me and mwah, i will see you guys soon mwah, mwah, mwah. take care of yourself god bless